What's up guys, it's Roger and welcome back to the channel. And today, we're just gonna be doing some live commentary in Trials. That is until the third match when I just ran into some hackers and some lag abusers, which was really funny. I'm not completely sure if he was getting paid to do a carry. Um, I think that is the case, as you'll hear me say later on. But either way, just, just as pathetic, you know, no difference there. So I hope you guys enjoy that. It's just, it's just really funny and you'll hear me rant at the end too. As you can tell by the title of the video. <laughs> um, if you do want to see this build though, I'm just using my Gemini gestures with my Darkest Before and my Reese Walker arc weapon, so I have all the things to get Ionic Traces and I have the whole combo. Go watch my video from yesterday if you want to see this entire loadout and why I like it so much, because I did a video yesterday breaking down this loadout and just showing you some gameplay with that and I had a really fun time with this loadout and it is really, really fun and good loadout. So go watch yesterday's video if you are interested in that, because that was a very fun time and the two first matches I have for you today are good, and the third one is just like when it falls apart, and I'm just like, okay, um, can't do this anymore. <laughs> but either way, I hope you guys enjoy what I have for you. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you later. Okay, and an actual match of six solos, so that's pretty cool because you do not get that usually outside of freelance, but I'm really happy that we get freelance next week. That's going to be good. It's just silly at this point that they haven't fully added it to the game. 1579, 1570. All right, we'll see if both sides of the spectrum here with that last guy on the enemy team and then this guy on the enemy team. It's like guy who doesn't go outside in his entire life and then guy who goes outside every day. Pretty cool. <laughs> and that's how you get a freelance, right? You actually get a mixed bag. It's not just, okay, you're up against three stacks of, you know, Tim, Tam, and Tom, and none of them go outside a single day of the week. So you're just going to be fighting tryhards that are all at max power already. And it's like, dude. Me. Can we not? I'm gonna throw that forward. See like they're not down there. I thought I heard somebody coming up to my. Let's shoot some ricochet rounds in here. Yep, just keep shooting. That's a nice nade, to be honest with you. Take that guy out. Take the shock. Okay, good. He's last. I didn't know he was last. I was gonna try to get him with the shock, and then I was like, no, I think he's a little too far away that this one actually hit him. You can see my, uh,. Gemini Jester's there to take his radar off, too, when I dodged there. I thought he was going to be higher health when I came around that corner, which is why I was getting ready to Gemini Jester him and then rush with my lethal current melee. And look how fast our dodge recharged. It's already back up. Like, God, it's so good. You can see the focus breathing there on the left. And the problem is I can aim up top, but if I aim up top and I don't have a sight line on the archway because our scope kind of blocks it, so we got to be careful about that. And that's unfortunate that he died there. Yeah, now they're kind of just free aiming onto my doorway what i'd like to do if i get in this situation is kind of fall back to right here because people love to challenge this archway or up top and then what you can do is flick pretty easily we'll dodge away really quick we'll reload and honestly i'm gonna rush this with a shotgun take him out twice and we know where that first res is up top so we can just farm that a little bit smack him we have no reason but not to wait till we heal And there we go. Oh, are you kidding me? I didn't even know I was in a nade. That's so stupid. Are you kidding me? Well, that's annoying, but hey, clearly I'm the better player, if you couldn't tell off of that. That's how you win a 1v3 if you're ever wondering. I, I mean, I say this a lot. You just got to try to get as many 1v1s as you can. So I took the first challenge because I knew he was probably going to push up top. People love challenging up top. Fall back to that little spot that I just showed you. People love challenging. I'm going to throw my blinding nade here because they might run into it. I'm just going to keep shooting on here for just a second. My aim's a little shaky now after that 1v3. Unfortunately, I got a little bit of nerves on me. I think we can actually maybe angle this. Because if we team shot this, we could frag them really quick. The only thing I want to do is make sure I check my radar every now and again. Yeah, because as long as my... Yeah, okay. My teammate wants to drop in. That's fine with me. I'm going to try to push forward here. Actually, I'm going to dodge out. Blink up. Hit the ground. And come to the side here. I want to make sure we're kind of peeking together, but at the same time... Yeah, I don't want this guy to get any good. Might be a bad push for me, but... At the same time, might be a really good push. I'm going to dodge. Gemini Jester them. 
There we go. Took two out. So I knew that first guy was in the left corner when I ran in because I had my radar, but I saw that guy not looking at me standing up top there. My teammates throw this. I'm going to be really mad, to be honest with you. Okay, looks like they're going to pick it up. Yeah, because if... I, I hate when my teammates do that when I get two picks and then they just sit there and watch and it's like, guys, you got you just got to go at that point. Make sure you're not letting those picks go to waste because it makes no sense not to just go ahead and seize that moment, you know? Uh, but like I was saying, when I saw him not looking at me on the couch there when I ran in, there was no reason for me not to just go ahead and take him out because it was a free kill. And then I could just turn around and flick on the other guy afterwards. Um, so that's what I chose to do. Yeah, I, I know I have a better shot than that guy, which is why I'm fine to just stay, stand off with him. Nice kill, teammate. I like that. I'm gonna blink in here. Okay. That was really good from the teammate. Got the heavy and just smacked their coochies. That's what we're trying to see. Not too bad so far. Clearly, we got the two uh, better solos. I appreciate that. And I mean, hey, it just goes to show just because they spend all their time playing this game and they're at max power doesn't mean they're necessarily going to be a good, good player. It's going to help. I don't really quite understand fully why power level is enabled. To be honest with you, it kind of just doesn't make sense to me. I'm going to dodge really quick, take his radar off. We saw he was up top. I'm going to do his blink to the side here. We're getting chased through this hallway. Oh, you're sucking my clit right now. I don't have one of those, but if I did, that'd be sucking it. I'm going to try to blink forward here. Yeah, unfortunate. They have some overshield on or something? That's so annoying. That guy just... Who is he? Oh, did their teammate... <laughs> I think their teammate took a short jump. A little long jump off a, off a short cliff or something. <laughs> AKA, he did not want to be there. I'm going to challenge bottom march, I think. This guy really likes to peek up top. Now, the only problem here is if they peek bottom, I'm not going to have sight on it because of my sights are so chonky. What we're going to do is just go ahead and check out radar. It looks like our teammates are keeping them pretty good over there. And they're actually, to my right, probably on this staircase. Yeah. I didn't get Gemini Jester proc, but I did um shake their coochies up. Are you... Mm. We love that. Why is the, the targeter on that is the worst thing I've ever seen? I'm just going to run with my focus breathing here until I have my dodge back up, which I do now. I can probably dodge here and take their radars. I'm actually coming around this way. I'm going to blink out. I do have lethal current for two seconds, so I'd love to use that, but unfortunately not going to happen. But, teammate has a good idea here. Let's chuck this in. That's going to be a nice blinding mate, actually. Straight up knocked the eyes off those Coochie brothers. Again, I'm going to use my dodge here. Get Gemini Jessers on them. Let me punch Bungie. Oh my god. Thank you, teammate. That was awesome combos we just done. You see my lethal current went off on the first guy, chain lightning, and just absolutely smacked their cooches. And I wanted to keep punching, but Bungie can't figure out how to make melees lock on if the enemy is on a lower um, plane than you, which is just ridiculous. I mean, I don't know. Put a little team on it for a week, and I feel like you could fix that. Yeah. It really is, I think, the thing in this game that annoys me more than anything is just that I can't melee someone that stands higher up than me. Oh, he's just being a pussy back there. Shoot, that sucks. I was going to go for the guy that you see him right there glowing red. That's who I was going to go for uh, next to my teammate's ghost. But, ah, uh, thanks, teammate. Hmm, Lorely Splendor. That's balanced. A emo on him? Yeah, I'm not going to do that, but it was a fun first match. <laughs> That's too bad their teammate threw himself off a cliff the uh, one round there, but it doesn't matter. They won anyways, to be honest. They hunkered down pretty well that round, and it was really satisfying just smacking that kid out of his bubble. We would have smacked him out of that bubble even faster if they could make melee lock-ons work. I mean, I mean, come on. Melees? You can't make melee. Are you not? I'm just not even going to get into it anymore. Let's go ahead and do the next match. Hey guys, if you want to make some Blink Warlock friends, then go ahead and join the Blinkfield Discord server. I'll have it linked in the description. For now, let's get back into the video. Yeah. 
Um, hit down, Drow of Osiris, baby. Oh man, I just love this game so much. Oh my god, it look at Zar World though. Oh my god, it's got all the hair plugs. Yo, who's now? Oh, is that Baldy old man? Oh my god, some of my favorite players in the game that I've never seen in my entire life that I just love so much. Alright, I can't wait to have an exciting, fun, interesting, and engaging match against players of my own skill range. <laughs> Come along with me, and we'll go see a world of pure imagination. That's not plagiarism. I made that up. Just, um... Don't ever watch any movies ever again. Thank you. Alright, let's see what we can do here. Got some stinky matches, but we still in this. But watch this. Oh, they just ran away or something. I kind of want to push up here, see if I can dodge. Maybe flying with a shotgun. <laughs> I dodged you, fool. I have lethal current. I'm unstoppable now. I already have our dodge back up because we got that kill with the melee. That is some beauty, baby. I love to see it. Oh, it's such a good combo. That first guy peaked with, like, no health. My teammates did good to get him really low. And then, oh, my teammate just goomba stomped me, so I guess we are going this way. Did I want to go this way? No, but my teammate pushed me, so we might as well. Actually, let me take one of my favorite angles that I was showing you guys in yesterday's video. Yeah, well, that's why it's one of my favorite angles. I'm going to blink in. We'll just come around the corner here, do a dodge, take his radar. And take him out. I knew he was pretty low as my teammates are shooting at him, but... Once he doesn't have a radar especially, all he has to do is assume we're coming around the side. And if he isn't a good enough player to assume that, then he's just not going to be ready for me pushing right up to him. And Gemini Jesters really are a beautiful exotic. Very quickly became one of my favorites. I do like Lucky Raspberry a lot. It's really fun. I don't like cheesy stuff. I guess these are kind of cheesy, actually. I'll say that. But I like interesting cheese. Oh, interesting. All right, thank you for the follow-up, guys. I really appreciate that. How did my shotgun not map you? I understand his was an aggressive frame and mine was a lightweight frame. But I do have a 95 range on this thing. I feel like I should have done more damage than that, especially considering he was already a little low. But it's okay. We have good teammates, and they followed up beautifully. So it didn't end up really mattering. All right, see, so we got everything up. Honestly... I'm going to see that going for a, uh... Oh, I thought they'd be playing down there. Let's take their radars. No, oh, not if they don't peek. What are these guys doing? Alright. Are the other ones in spawn? Did they quit? Look how fast our focus breathing is just putting our melee right back, or uh, our dodge back up. Off cooldown. God, I love it. Okay. I don't play the game, too, if you want me to. No, that's fine. Can I show you something? Wait, come here, I want to show you something. No, oh, you don't let me do it. What? I, I didn't... It wasn't me, dude. I didn't... I don't know how... I think uh, the wind was on your cheeks or something. It wasn't me. God, those are, like, the worst in the best rounds. You don't have to do anything right, so you're like, oh, okay. Thanks for the break, I guess. Oh my god, please stop getting under my feet. Please. Go. Oh my god. Can I give you a simple tip if you have a blink player on your team? Don't touch them. I know you want to peek, my dude. This is going to be a little risky, but what I want to do is dodge. We know he's in the corner there. Oh. Well. That was, um... Yeah. <laughs> he kind of quit. I do like tracking someone through the wall with the Gemini Jesters, too. Oh, thank you. I will definitely ignore that. Um... Especially since I see that you're one of the players that just bumps me around. Like, what? I don't want to kill with somebody who's just going to shove me into walls and goomba stomp me every time I'm trying to come out of base because you don't know not to touch me. Stinky boy. Hey, back in a match against these guys. Fun. Crushing their asses off. Pretty sure this kid paid for a carry. That's why he's at 1554. And they have two Xbox players. If you're looking for someone doing a carry, just look for a guy like this who's in a different clan than the other two. Usually, I feel like the console player is the ones paying for the carries, from what I've noticed. I don't know why they're more likely to, but they are. 
And then it's always going to be somebody on Steam doing the carry for them. Which is funny, because you can always go stack, check their um, Steam profile. There's a little shield up there, isn't there? And if you do so, then that Steam profile is just going to be loaded with comments on the bottom of people just going, Oh, nice. Hacker trash. Hacker scum and all this stuff. And it's just like... Oh, okay. Wow. Yeah, literally. Sure. 1 HP. All right, now he's just bagging his his little friend there. And then I got diphthong teammates, because of course. Pussies. That's so fun. That's so good. So I just spanked this kid, right? He's cheating. I just spanked him. The game lagged for a second because he was turning on um, whatever he needs to use to abuse. To lag abuse. That's so funny. I had to show you guys this. I'm just, this is what happens when I try to get a good game. Like, just give us fucking freelance, you... God, Jesus Christ, Bunch, you don't understand anything. You see how long it's taking to load between each match? It's because it thinks his internet's so bad, but he's playing perfectly, and we're never going to be able to hit enough shots to kill him because he's lag abusing now. That's so fucking funny. I made sure I clipped that too because I had to show you guys. And I also played them last match, and he was, you know, perfect internet the entire time. That's so funny. Ah, then my blink got caught. I'm not going to waste my time with this. I don't like giving a... Hackers, the satisfaction of killing me, I just get out of the game and get them banned. Yeah, that's what I was trying to tell you guys. So it's just like this. You're going to see the Steam player, and then you're going to be queued up with two console players usually, and they're going to be in different clans or whatnot. Sometimes they'll be in the same clan. Uh, this is a dead giveaway. Obviously, he has nothing on his account. That's why he wants to get a carried through trials. I'm just going to get out. I try to explain it to my teammates. They just don't really answer. If Team Chat's even working, since Team Chat doesn't work. So just make sure you're reporting guys like these, because it's, it's just, I mean, it's pathetic. If you can't get a flawless, you know, by yourself or with friends or whatever, then it's not a big deal. But don't go perpetuating this shit, because it's just sad. And even if they're not paying for it, even if it's just like their buddy or something, you know, it's it's just as sad, like... Just fucking update battle live on G, it's pathetic. So honestly, I was going to get another match for you guys. I was going to go try to get one more good match and whatever, but I fought those guys twice in a row, you know? So I'm, I'm not playing this game anymore. I think you can probably understand why I'm not going to fight and go in queue again just to fight the same three stack that's getting, you know, cheats all over them. Like, Jesus Christ. Just pull your stuff together. It's, it's so... How does that ever fly? It's so funny, though, how you spank a cheater. And he's like, oh, I guess my walls weren't enough. And who knows what he has besides the walls. I didn't have the first game record a few guys because I started recording, so I was going in and I was like, oh, let's get a good match. And then I saw them on the leaderboards. And like I'm saying, you know, this kind of stuff is a dead giveaway. And I was like, uh, yeah, that's probably a carry getting paid. But um, we'll see. We'll see what's up first. 
So I went in, played for a little bit, and then I was like, oh, yeah, that's too bad. So I just got the match over with. Actually, both my teammates rage quit eventually, which is funny, because I literally typed in the team chat with them, but which, which again, team chat doesn't even work half the time. Sometimes you type in team chat and people will respond or will listen to your calls and actually like, it's fine. Other times you type in team chat and it just doesn't even go through to your teammates because they, I guess they can't make team chat work after all this time either, which is like, <laughs> team chat? We can't have working teams. I don't even, that's not the point. The point is just how these hackers in the game. And I've been noticing this for a while, just especially at the end of last season, but the, the beginning of this season too. Um, and I think it's another part that I haven't really touched on that is making the SBMM changes so bad in control. And I feel like this point hasn't really been brought up by anybody else, at least I haven't heard it. But it is a good point to make because you see all these cheaters, these hackers, and where do you think they're ending up in SBMM? They're ending up in the top brackets because they're cheating and they're getting these super high KDs and whatever else they're using to actually quantify where you should be in the SBMM. And then I'm having to deal with them and everyone else in the top brackets having to deal with them. I'm sorry if that sounds like braggadocious, like, oh, I have to deal with this because I'm a good player. But even still, it's like, you know, you put time in to become a good player. It's not like you just wake up one day and you're like, I'm a gamer legend. Like, no, I put time in. I'm not even that fucking good, but I practice my aim. I practice my gun skill. I learn how to use my abilities. And when I learn a lot of things about the game so I can be in a higher skill tier when it comes to that SBMM, even though I'd rather honestly not be there because it's just such sweaty matches. But I, no one's brought up the point that that's where the hackers are going to because they're just hacking and hackers rarely get banned in this game. I report a lot of hackers every single day, and very rarely will I ever actually open my Destiny 2 and have the message pop up that's like, we banned somebody you reported, thanks for reporting them, and I'm like, great, that happens like, maybe once every two months I'll get that message when I start the game, and it's like, you don't even get to know who it was, of course, I mean, that makes sense, why would you get to know who it was, but, so it's like, was it even a hacker, or was it just some dude that, you know type to slur in the chat and you reported him because I feel like they're more likely to ban somebody who does that than somebody who's hacking but you, you really do think about it for a second like where do you think those hackers are ending up in the SBMM they're ending up in the top tiers and there's a lot of hackers in the game right now because Bungie hasn't been updating Battle Eye I don't know if they have yet I know they were talking about it in the TWAB but I remember one of my subscribers someone on my server showed me a while ago he was like well this is probably the reason there's so many hackers and he showed me a uh, picture a screenshot of the last time Battle Eye was updated, and it was like over a year ago or whatever. They just don't update Battle Eye. And it was like, oh, they literally don't update their anti cheat. So over time, new cheats are being made, new cheats are being made, new cheats are being made, and they're not updating their Battle Eye to combat those. So it's just not stopping them. And honestly, Battle Eye is a terrible anti cheat, anyways. Uh, or is it, is it bad? It's Battle Eye in this, right? It's not easy anti cheat. Because I believe Battle Eye is the same thing that Rainbow Six Siege has. And if you ever played that, you know that game was rampant with cheaters and hackers. I actually quit playing Rainbow Six Siege because there were so many hackers. You couldn't go through a match of ranked without seeing a hacker. Or um, smurfing was another huge problem in that game. Which smurfing isn't really as much of a problem in this game. Because it's not like ranks really. So it doesn't really matter in this game. But yeah, I don't know. I, I really wanted to play more and enjoy the game today. But um... That really just ruined my mood. So, always fun. The uh, the lag abusing kind of cracked me up though when he, <laughs> when I went into the next round after kicking their cheeks, and I saw the round I saw the round was taking forever to load, and I know obviously he toggled something on because you could see him lagging in that clip that I showed you, and then how long it was taking to load between each round. And the entire game before that, not a single round took that long to load. And the entire game two there, not a single round took that long to load until the round where I kicked their cheeks, and then it was like. Hmm, suddenly it's taking so long to load. Oh, and none of your bullets can hit him because he's lagging so bad, but he's playing perfectly. And it's like, yeah. <laughs> I don't know, dude. But I uh, just thought I'd kind of talk to you guys and just like... Because I don't think people talk about the hacking problem really that much. But it is a bit of a problem, and you don't really think about it. I think people are pretty good at hiding their hacks in this game, but when you've played long enough, you do start noticing them. It's the subtle stuff. Especially with certain weapons, like when he's using that... Peacekeeper Teraba combo, it's for a reason. Because that, I mean, Teraba is overpowered. Teraba's kind of like Glaives, where it's been overpowered for like many, many months now. But the fact that so little people use it and abuse it uh, makes it to where they just don't really care or address it. Which is like, who knows? I, I don't give a shit. But yeah, just pretty sad. I'm not going to be playing anymore after that. But thank you guys for watching. Let me know if you've been seeing a lot of hackers in your games. 
um, if you've been seeing those kind of stacks where they're probably paying for a carry, maybe it's just their weird friend, you know, you know, their little hacking buddy. And he's just like, let me try my new hacks, guys. And they were like, yeah, Jason, let's go. Let's keep opening some trials. And then they just happen to run into me twice in a row, which also, who knows if they're card resetting or actually it's Sunday right now, but the, the reset for the day hasn't gone off. So I'm pretty sure Flawless Pool is not active yet. So it should still be no Flawless Pool. Who knows? I don't I'm done. I'm done. I'm gonna go throw myself into a meat grinder or something, but either way, thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, feel free to leave me a like, comment, tell me about your hacker experiences, or just any kind of BS you have faced in trials this weekend, because I'd love to hear you complain just as much as I like to complain. <laughs> if you want to hit the uh, subscribe button, I'd really appreciate that. We are on our way to 10k as always, and I'd love to have you. But that is it for me today, so thank you guys so much for watching, and as always, have a great day, Guardians.